And all right, we hear it everywhere, organic is better, or is it? Do you really need to buy organic fruits and vegetables to make sure your family is eating healthy? The answer may surprise you. To tell us all about the myths and truths about organic produce, joining us today is Andrea Minsky, and she knows a thing or two about eating clean. Thank you for joining us, Andrea. Thank you, Dan. Super happy to be here. I'm glad that you're here as well. I wish that you can smell this at home. It smells fantastic. So I need all the help I can get. What is the difference between organic and non-organic? Okay, organic is better for sure because you're not using pesticides and it's better also for the environment. But sometimes it's really expensive. It is really expensive. I go to the strawberries and they can be twice as much as the non-organic. So what do you do? Yes, so buy organic if you can, but if you can't, then you have to wash them really properly. So you take out the wax, the pesticides, and the dirt. So I have a recipe here. Do you want to know it? I want to know all about it. Perfect, so take a bowl, put water on it, and then a cup of vinegar, and then a tablespoon of baking soda, Woohoo! Vinegar and baking soda. Yes, and the juice of half lemon. So that way you take out the wax. Who wants to eat wax, dirt, pesticides, and all of that. And then you don't need to buy organic if you are eating like pineapple, the things that have like, a, like a, the skin is like thick, you don't need that. But for example, the strawberries, you are eating it the, all, the whole thing. So it's better to buy organic. But if not, just wash them like that. You let them there, let them rest for two minutes, and then you can eat them. So it takes off all the bad stuff on the outside. Exactly. All the bad stuff. You know when you go to a supermarket, you start like touching things. You don't want to eat all the food. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> That's bad stuff to think about. For I just sure. bought strawberries. I rinsed them off in the sink and I ate them. So I uh, need to be mixing yes. some water, some baking soda, and some lemon. Yes, the healthy stuff. And then you take out the dirt, the germs, and you have them ready. So when you go to like do your thing, you just eat it and don't take a cookie or something <laughs> else. So you eat healthy, but also you don't eat need the dirt. Yeah, that's really important. Why is organic better and so much more expensive than non-organic? Because it's because it's so specialized when it's farmed? Yes, they don't use the pesticides that has tons of toxins. You don't want to have those toxins into your body. So oh. that's why. It's, it's like more expensive to really like grow non-organic -organ things. Here's a question for you. It might be silly, but on the inside of this apple, will the pesticides do something to the inside or is it all on the outside? So if you wash it off, you're okay. Or does the organic affect the yeah. whole piece of fruit? It, it can affect inside. But okay. the outside, the peel is really important, and the outside gets most of it. Sometimes you will get something inside, so I cannot tell you that you're, you're not going to have any of that. But the less you have is the better. So toxins are really bad for your brain, for a lot of things, especially for kids. You want them to eat really healthy. So make sure you wash them really properly. I'll be washing away. I need baking soda, lemon, and water. I want to put this all together in a smoothie and blend it up right now. All yours, baby. You can take it. <laughs> um, how do you like those apples? <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrew, for joining us. I really appreciate it. Tips there on Thank eating healthy. You.